Assalamu alaikum my dear students. I am Efim to with you again with a new lesson for you. I hope all of you are going well and attending your lessons regularly. Today we are going to discuss on how to make a flowchart. Flowchart making is very important for you because writing a flowchart you can easily achieve 10 out of 10 because you have to write only five phrases for writing a flowchart so how to write phrases to know it very very much important for you today we will discuss on it how to write a phrase for writing the flowchart here you will see uh, flowchart how should be the answer of a flowchart the answer should be in short notes number two the answer should be in phrase that is without verbs okay then so as we should put the phrase for the answer we have to know how to make short note phrases we have to remember these rules only remembering these four rules we can easily write flowchart Number one, verb plus ing plus extension. So to write a phrase, we always remember we should not give any subject. Okay, so we are not going to give any subject to write a phrase. Then number two, being plus extension, that is the rest of the part of the sentence. Number three, if we get have, has or had, then what ha, uh, we will do, we will write having plus extension, that is the rest of the sentences. And number four, subject plus verb plus ing plus extension or article plus adjective plus noun. So here we have to remember which, which subject it is. So, this subject is something different from the uh, given subject of the text. We will understand it when we will practically do it. Next, we will see important note for you. Number one, dot, 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 dot. Why I have given here dot, 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 dot? Because in the question paper, the first part of the question is always same. That is, read the following text and make a flowchart showing or mentioning. Up to this, you will get always same in your question paper. But then you will get the required question for you. That is, then the subject of writing flowchart. Number two, auxiliary verb, modal verb. Or adverbs will be cut so in writing the phrase we cannot give auxiliary verb modal verb or adverbs and then number three answers should be in box this is also important note for you that we have to remember if we don't give any box that means no box no marks for you okay so now we are going to do a practical text for you, practical flowchart for you. This one is from your textbook unit 6 lesson 4. This unit 6 lesson 4 is very important for you even for your uh, examination for making flowchart. So what is the question here? Please read the question properly. Read the following text and make a flowchart showing or mentioning the lifestyle of Amerigo. One is done for you. So, this is the main subject of writing the flowchart. That is the lifestyle of Amerigo. So, here we are getting the text. I am not going to read the details of the text today because we have already read this text in our previous classes. So, in the first passage, we have got the information about Am Amerigo, from which family he came. And then in the next para, the same passage in the next para, we get the lifestyle of Amerigo. So, here I have 
already picked the answer for you. Uh, these answers are in yellow. The, the sentences, look at the sentences pro properly. At first we have picked, I used to collect trash and sell it to a vendor. So Amerigo used to collect trash and sell it to a vendor. Next, I had a serious infection. And next, I worked for an ice cream shop. Then the owner of the shop gave me something to eat. And the last one, I had to walk for hours offering my ice cream. So I have chosen here five information about Am Amerigo's lifestyle. So to give the information in phrase, what I have to do? We have to follow the question paper. In the question paper, you will get the format like this way. The number one is done for you. What was said in your question paper? That is, one is done for you. Which one is done for you? Living on a street. So number one is done for you. You have to give five boxes for giving five more information. In your answer script, how you will put the information in the box? We are going to the next page. You are writing in the answer script like this way. Answer to the question number two. The flowchart showing the lifestyle of Amerigo is given below. This introductory note is very important for you. Sometimes what you do, you just write the boxes like this way, but you don't give any introduction of the answer. So you should not do this to get a good mark. And then you will put five boxes or you will put six boxes. How? You can give the given box which is given in your question paper that is living on a street. Or if you want, you cannot give the given box number one. In that case, you will have only five boxes. But if you give number one, the given boxes in the question paper, box in the question paper, then you will have six boxes. That means one, two, three, four, five, six. This is totally up to you. Okay. So here we are getting living on a street. Number one. Number two, what was the sentence we picked from the text? I used to collect trash and selling it to a vendor. So in our rules, we could know that I cannot put subject to write the phrase. So I'm not taking I here. Then it comes used to collect trash. So used to, we know it's modal verb. So model, for modal verb, we again cut it and we will take the verb take the verb collect here and in that case what we will do we will take the verb collect and write collecting verb plus ing here we have written here collecting trash and selling it to vendor as we have got another verb here that is sell so as we are writing collecting in the same way we have to write selling so collecting trash and selling it to a vendor this is the first phrase and uh, then we get i had a serious infection we are cutting i from here as it is subject and then we got had and we know that in that case we will write having so have plus ing having we will write here having a serious infection and then it comes number four we have got here i worked for an ice cream shop so i subject we are not taking i then we got worked for an ice cream so worked as verb 
so we will write here working for an ice cream shop here we have written the phrase working for an ice cream shop and then number five we have got the information the owner of the shop gave me something to eat here we have got another subject that is the owner of the shop in all these cases we got the subject uh, amerigo but here we are getting another subject the owner of the shop gave me something to it so here we will get this uh, take this subject for writing the phrase like this way the owner of the shop and then the verb comes gave me something to it so it will be giving me something to eat the owner of the shop giving me something to eat and number six we have got here i had to work for hours offering my ice cream so we will not take i as subject and we will make had as having uh, sorry here had to is modal auxiliary so modal verb we will not take had to and we are getting their work as verb and we will make Ok plus ing that is oking for hours offering my ice cream. So here my my is basically amerigo. So what we will write? We will write that oking for hours offering ice cream. So this is all for today. I believe that if you follow these four rules to write the phrase, it will be easier for you to write down the flowchart. So uh, one thing I always listen from you, my students, you always tell me, Miss, I have written flowchart, I have given all the information, but I did not get the marks. The so basically what you do, you write the information, but writing the sentence in the box. When you are writing the sentence, when you are bringing the subject, or you are bringing the verb as it is written in the uh, text at that time though there is the information but this is not phrase so in that case you get zero I am really very sorry this is the uh, system of writing the flowchart you have to write the phrase and I believe if you remember these four rules properly then it will be easier for you to write the flowchart and from today i expect you you will get 10 out of 10 for writing flowchart thank you very much i will see you next with new class inshallah salam alaikum